You were born an artist. You worked in rice fields and finger-painted pictures and yet people's blood. You never tasted whips, but often tasted the leather which your mother would hit you with. You went to school with scraped knees, rough hands, and half-broken pencils. You sold your grandmother's empanadas during recess and sat alone during lunch because they teased you about the holes in your shoes your grandmother couldn't make whole again. You only speak in Spanish. Adobo in your step and threats on your tongue, you are the reason why it's so easy to fall in love with Dominican women. You remind me not to oversalt. Our Saturday nights were spent playing bingo. We go big or go home. We never clear our chips too fast. You would laugh as I tried to bet my last 25 cents. You always told me never to trust a man, but on Sundays you would tell me about the man you weren't afraid of me falling in love with. You would put my hands together and teach me how to pray. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, I prayed for him to get you out of bed this morning. I did not get up this morning. I lied in bed for hours. You asked if I was tired. I didn't want to tell you that I was diagnosed with depression too, so I said yes, I was exhausted. You almost tried to kill yourself again. You called me at three in the morning and told me you needed a reason not to end it and the sound of my breathing was the best one you can think of, so I kept breathing. I wanted to stick my hand on my throat and take out all the reasons that you deserve to be alive from the pit of my stomach along with all the butterflies that I would give to you. I'm not sure if you remember what they feel like. They've given me an anxiety disorder. No, I don't want to give you anxiety. I just want to give your body a reason to start moving again. I've been looking for a reason to make my bed and I can't, but I hope you make your bed today. I promise to do everything to try to save you. For you, I'll avoid all complimentary caution signs provided by my sanity. I'll memorize the suicide hotline, 1-800-273-8255, just in case I'm having difficulty breathing. I'll put it on three-way. I'll translate all the reasons you deserve to be happy if not. I'll craft you a kaleidoscope of all the times where we flapped so hard we couldn't breathe. Just so that you see in good moments our lungs can still use oxygen tanks, I'll rewrite your prescription. I'll do my best to give you every dose of happiness I have left for you. I'll pretend I don't write my poems as the sky suicide notes and you aren't writing your eulogy in the middle of your laughter, I'll hold your hand. They'll probably shake while I'll try my best not to and we will pray together. You will ask God to watch over me and I will ask him to hold you on the days where my heart ticks to the beat of a suicidal bomber and if none of it works, I'll lay in bed with you. I'll turn off all the lights and I'll crawl up right beside you. I'll wrap my arms around you. I'll write poetry to the sound of your laughter and we will lay there. You'll count my heart ticks as I count your breathing and we both will make it out of bed in the morning.